Oh baby, what is going on you guys? This is Take HT coming at you with a brand new video and today we're gonna be doing something very very special. So basically I'm going to be upgrading my CPU cooler. I have the stock one of the Intel Core i7 4790K and it is overheating too much. Literally I have to go into the BIOS, I have to turn off turbo boost, all the types of things so I can't overclock it at all and whenever I'm exporting a video file or something like that or when I'm gaming it just crashes multiple times and I just have a hassle with it so literally I need to upgrade my CPU cooler and I went all hell in this so I want to make it very special once again I haven't made a video on upgrading my PC parts in a while since I did I believe the RAM when I upgraded the DDR3 RAM of 16 gigs of a Corsair Vengeance and we have a bunch of products over here a majority of them are Corsair because I love Corsair with their PC parts so what we have is the Corsair H100i version 2 with the radiator and fan 240 millimeter radiator and 120 uh, millimeter fans and then what we have over here are the cable mods to um, add some sleeving to it so I want it to be a, a white and red color scheme that's what my PC is mainly going for so over here I got the white ones and I got the red ones and I'm going to be using one each of them and I will have links down in the description below for all of them. I also have the uh, red and blue trim kits for the H100i version 2 and I'm going to be using the red ones not the blue ones and then I want to re replace the um, the stock fans on the H100, uh, H100i and replace it with the HD120 RGB LED fan so these come with three of them this is going to be awesome I'm gonna be setting it to like a cycle from white to red and so on and so on and uh, this is gonna be really cool and then to control the LED fans we have the commander pro so this is the uh, where I can control everything I'm gonna get more fans later on in the future I'm gonna get be getting LED strips and you connect it all into here and then with the software of course their link you're able to control it all so we're gonna be setting this up I'm gonna be unboxing all of these I'm gonna be showing you guys that and then we're gonna be doing a little bit of a montage of uh, setting everything up so let's get right into it Okay you guys, so the first thing that we're going to be taking a look at is the Corsair H100i version 2. Once again, I'll have links down in the description below on all the products that we're going to be taking a look at. So this is liquid cooling CPU and it's a 240mm fan uh, radiator with 120mm fans. There's two of them, so basically that's pretty much it. If in the box, it comes with the, um, the Corsair H100i version 2 Extreme radiator, the two... Uh, SP120 fans, we got the mounting socket and the hardware, and then we got the Corsair link, so then everything is all set. So now if we come over here, you can see that we got the 240mm radiator, and then we got the fans, and then we got the, uh, it also comes with pre-applied thermal paste, and then we got the cooler itself, and this is to keep it, like you can tell from a difference, here is a little bit of a test bench of uh, an Intel Core i7. And then with the Intel stock cooler, you can see that it fails, it gets really overheated. But over here, it goes up to 64 uh, Celsius. So let's just get right into this. So let's take a look. All right, so the first thing that we have is warranty, warranty guides, and then a little bit of um, quick start guide. Move that to the side, move this. Let's look at these very quickly. So what we have are the fans itself. These are the uh, standard ones, there's two of them, so we're just going to move them over to the side because I'm not going to be using them whatsoever. We got the brackets as well, as well as all the screws and the cables. So we're going to be moving that to the side. And then over here, where we have the radiator itself. Let's remove all that, and that is pretty much it. So, let's remove the plastic out of here. Okay, so you can see over here that we got the radiator itself. It's a 240 millimeter radiator, like I said before. And then over here, we got the customizable RGB where we could change it to any color or we could set it to, let's say, green for when it's idle, uh, orange when it starts to get a little bit warm, and, and red when it starts to get really hot. So you can really uh, mess around with it using the Corsair Link app uh, software I meant. And then that's pretty much it. And then we install the fans on this side, and that will be that. So now that is the radiator and the fan. So now let's take a look at the other products. All right, so product number two. So what we have are the HD 120 RGB uh, fans. They come with three of them as well as a little bit of a remote control. And that is pretty much it. And this is what I'm gonna be using instead of the regular stock fans that they come with. 
I think I got everything. And let's take a look over here. So what we have over here, let's take a look very quickly. So over here we got all the cables basically and we also got the little bit of remote as well. We got the HD lighting control so we could change the speed, the color, the mode, stuff like that. And we could easily connect it to the Commander Pro. I'm going to be moving that over to the side. And then over here is when we have all the fans. So you can see basically, and that's pretty much it. So you can see basically it comes with three of them and then it's a nice clear so that all the lighting could go around and nothing's really blocking it. And everything else is pretty much the same. And that is pretty much it for the fans. So we got three of them. We're going to be setting those up with the Commander Pro. And then next up that we got over here. I'm just going to be grabbing this very quickly. We got the Commander Pro as well. This is the digital fan and RGB lighting controller. And then that's what we'll be connecting to the fans, all of that. Even the, um, the CPU cooler so we could control the temperatures and all of that. And then we could be basically keeping an eye to make sure that nothing gets overheated. And then we can control the, um, the lighting. So that's going to be really cool. So it's not that bad, the size of it, because I feel like I could put it in the back very easily. And then, go over here, got a little bit of uh, total control installation guides, other types of papers, and then all sorts of other cables to make sure that the fans are good, and a little bit of uh, lighting as well. So that's pretty much it that we got for the Commander Pro. I'm going to be moving this over to the side. So then if we remove this actually, so now if we check over here, we could connect up to six fans, two LEDs, uh, temperatures as well, and it also comes with two USB ports as well. So that is pretty cool. And that is pretty much it. So now we have the fans unboxed, we got the Commander Pro unboxed, and we also got the CPU cooler itself. So now all that we have left are two other things. So next up that we have are the Corsair kits for the CPU cooler. So if we check over here, they come with blue and red. And obviously since mine is going to be a red and white theme, I'm going to be replacing it with the red ones. Uh, I wish they sold the blue and the red separately, but for some reason it comes with both. But I'm not going to be using the blue ones at all. I'm just going to be using the red ones. And that is pretty much it for that. And last but not least, which is the only thing that is not Corsair, are Cable Mods. Now, Cable Mods makes all types of variety of cables so that you can customize your PC to however way you want. So we got the AIO sleeving kits. These are for the Corsair H100i version 2s, the H115i's, all these types of. So I have the white and the red ones. So if we unbox this. And we take out the, the white ones. You can see it's a nice white. You just wrap this around the, uh, the ones itself. And then it comes with the little clips to make sure that everything's nice and secure. That's how to install it. And we take a look at the bottom over here. Got the little clips itself to basically ensure that everything is all good. So that's the white ones. And if we take a look at the red ones, and these are the red ones. So they're pretty vibrant. I really like the color scheme that I'm going to be going for. White and red is going to be looking pretty dope. And then we got the clips as well for the red ones. So now we unbox everything. So now let's cue the montage. Let's get everything set up. And let's see how amazing this will look.
Okay, so now what I'm going to be showing you guys is a real temperature test between the stock CPU cooler from Intel versus the liquid cooling from Corsair, the H100i version 2. So as you can see from the first test, basically the real temperature is speaking for itself. The minimum that we have is about 35 Celsius and the maximum goes all the way up to 100 degrees Celsius, which is honestly ridiculous and it's really not that good. It, you are stressing your processor out. And then you can see the thermal status that it, it, it goes all the way to hot. It goes from OK to log to hot and it is just reaching its maximum point. And bear in mind that this is all without overclocking so it is at the basic basic status and then if we jump over to the liquid cooling uh, test you can see that is a huge difference it goes to basically the minimum temperature is about 37 degrees Celsius and the maximum temperature is about 67 degrees Celsius but it ranges at like about 60 degrees Celsius which is pretty insane it's just a drastic difference it doesn't even reach 70 degrees Celsius it never reaches 100 degrees Celsius the thermal status is always on okay it doesn't reach log or hot or anything like that and this is at the maximum both of the CPU coolers were at maximum fan speed so that is pretty insane and not only that but on the first test with the stock CPU cooler everything was not overclocked nothing was overclocked or anything like that but on the second one everything was overclocked the processor was overclocked so that shows that this honestly worked because I wasn't even able to overclock on my stock CPU cooler otherwise my PC would crash but with this one it has no problem whatsoever so there you guys have it it basically shows that this liquid CPU cooler completely works and then I did some other add-ons to it so this really this is a serious test and it works 100 so there you guys have it i hope you guys enjoyed the video everything will be down in the description below everything that i showed you guys basically cable mods the sleeves the uh the liquid cooling cpu as well as the little kits to change the colors everything will be down in the description below i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe follow me on facebook twitter youtube instagram twitch as always is techie g i'll catch you guys in the next video peace